After Hart lost 1-0 at relegation rival St Mirren, Scottish football is suspended due to the Covid-19 outbreak across the British Isles. One month after the last round of games, all top fly clubs reluctantly agreed that playing the remaining matches was unfeasible. At this point, Hearts would be relegated. May 18th and the season is no closer to resuming. The season ends and Hearts chairperson Anne Budge plans league reconstruction talks. Two days later, Anne Budge presents a free tier 14 team per league league system. Other teams are reluctant to commit. June 5th. The deadline for the league restructure passes and there is now clearly a lack of support for the revamp. The plan collapses as any remaining optimism disappears. Hart's relegation to the championship is almost certain. On June 21st with the club currently in turmoil, Daniel Stendhal quietly leaves the club as his contract is terminated after 6 months in charge. He won 5 of his 17 games. Core proceedings then begin with Hearts and Partick Thistle taking on the SPFL. It is decided that the case must go to an arbitration tribunal. After sitting in private for a week, the panel upheld the Hearts relegation and dismissed their compensation claim. Hearts will be part of the championship next season. July 27 with Hearts now planning for an instant return to the SPL, the appointment of unknown manager Craig Bocelli is made. The fans are clearly underwhelmed and alarmed by the appointment of a 33-year-old ex under league football player with zero management experience, but Bocelli has a message for the fans. Morning everyone! Welcome to Hearts, Craig. Is this some kind of joke? Well, why have you got to be like that? Look, have you not seen me FM20 save? God, it's legendary. Stuff of legend. Alfred and Town, 13 seasons from the Vanarama North all the way to winning the Champions League. And Bud seen that. She was all about it. Straight on the blower and off we go. I don't believe this. This is crackers. But moving on. What's the aim for the club this season? Obviously this season, all about getting promoted, we need to be back in the SPL where we're on. Being absolutely robbed being excluded from that, you know, with everything going on, completely understand, but shouldn't be here. But surely you'll be lucky not to have been kicked out of the club before Christmas. Oh. So then guys, that was a bit of a disaster, wasn't it? Let's be honest, that was poor so the fans aren't on my side the media's not on my side and you know what do i expect it's a bit of a downer to start with it let's be honest but we're going to create the manager now we're going to get stuck in like i say he's going to be a sunday league footballer and then it's all about us winning them round now you know obviously hearts they have been expelled relegated whatever you'd want to look at it I think this is a decent game to go at. I think this is a decent team to play with. Obviously, the SPL is dominated by Celtic. Yeah, Rangers are there or thereabouts, but Rangers aren't the team they used to be, and it is all Celtic. So for us, first things first is to get straight out of the championship. Now, if I can't do that, this challenge is going to be over relatively short. You know, I'm probably not going to make it to Christmas, like that reporter said. However, we're going to give it a go. So here we are. We're on the creator manager screen, and we're good to go. So first things first... I've put a photo of myself in. This is absolutely horrific when I take that off. Look at the state of it. Looks like they've turned my face inside out. It's the best skin complexion I've ever had, though. Jeez Louise. And my eyes are close together as well. Oh, these Stuff of nightmares. Like, let's get them glasses back on. Takes the edge off. So there's me, then. We're good to go. It's the managerial style. It's a big thing. So here we go. Suggest badge based on hearts. For us, we're going to have no license. And as far as obviously my past experience goes, like I say, Sunder League footballer. So as you can see there, I am not equipped to take over at heart. This is just an absolute sack and waiting to happen. So there you go then. As you can see, like adaptability and stuff. Twos, nothing higher than a two. I can change those rounds a little bit if I want. I'm not going to. We're just going to leave it like that. So here we go then, Hart have hired Bocelli. Now eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the 33 year old who's recently spent time away from football. Like I say, Sunday League football, that's my history. He's sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media. Well we've already done that and that was a disaster. 
So Bocelli lacks the reputation of a title specialist, which given the club's current ambitions creates an intriguing dynamic as they intend to challenge for major honours. So welcome to Hearts, the Jambos as they are known as, passionately by the fans. And budget chairperson there, absolutely loving the FM20 save with Alfred and Town. Thinks we can replicate that again, why not? But like I say, first thing's trying to get out of the championship. So she'd like to formally welcome you to Hearts. To get you acquainted with your new surround, you'll receive an introductory welcome pack. Congratulations and welcome aboard. So reputation-wise, then we're two and a half stars. Media prediction is first, so we've got a win. We haven't currently got a director of football. Now, I like to play with a director of football, especially, obviously, for the signings wise It's good to get their input. And my assistant manager is Gordon Forrest. Facilities then is Tyne Castle, just over 20,000, was built in 1886. And training facilities are excellent, youth facilities are excellent, and good youth recruitment. So, a little bit on the club background then. They were founded in 1874, Heart of Middle Ovian, are a professional Scottish club currently playing in the Scottish Championship. Hearts suffered relegation from the Scottish Premier last season, and will need to adjust to life in a Scottish Championship. So, like I say... They were relegated. It was more of an expulsion from what I've seen. Obviously, I've had to look into to the history of what's gone on. And, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but by the sound of it, there was an opportunity for them to stay up. Everybody rejected that and they were basically expelled from the SPL. So they've enjoyed the greatest era during the 1890s. So the best part of 130 years ago doesn't really board well. So we've got to turn that around sharpish. So my best 11 then is Craig Gordon in goal, quality goalkeeper, Kingsley, Haring, Sutar and Smith at the back with Lee and Halliday in the middle, Walker, Naismith and Ginelli with Boyce up front, Naismith's a quality player, he's got to be cracking on a bit though, Stephen Naismith, 33 years old. We've got plenty of loan obligations with players in and out, Ginelli and Stewart, both players coming in and like I say, plenty of players going out there. My hot prospect is Cammy Logan, let's have a quick look at him, right back. Okay, 18-year-old Scotsman. And my squad personality is determined. So formation-wise for me, I don't know how we're going to go yet. We obviously don't want it to be too defensive, too apprehensive. We want to go forward. We want to absolutely batter teams because we should have all the quality in the world here. And anything bar a top spot would obviously be a failure anyway. And anything bar a top spot is probably going to see me lose my job. So club vision then and culture. So the main culture is to sign players under the age of 22 for the future. Develop players using the club's youth system. Five-year plan is to work within the wage budget. You need to be financially stable, let's be honest. End the current season is to win a domestic cup. Oh, God, pushing it. And to win the Scottish Championship. Scottish Cup is to reach the quarter-final. And Scottish League Cup is to reach the quarter-final. End of next season, my contract expires. And we need to just work to being the best of the rest in the SPL. We can do that. So here we go then. There is the headline. Bocelli takes charge of hearts. I'm getting paid three grand per week. Three grand. That is quality to say I don't know what I'm doing. Absolutely loving that. And I've got two years to get myself up. That picture is absolutely horrific. Jeez Louise. Hearts players in the last year of contract then. So we've got Berrett, Zlamal. I've got quite an old squad when I look at it. You know, when you look up there. Berra's 35-year-old, Slamal's 34-year-old, Smith 31-year-old, obviously we've got Colin Doyle 35-year-old, we've got other players that we've looked at as well like Nay Smith and whatnot. I'm not going to make any decisions on contracts. Now this is where I want you to get involved guys, we're going to look at the squad, realistically I want you guys to get involved with who comes in, who goes out, where you need to strengthen, what's the formation, we'll have a look at formations and whatnot today, we'll have a look at the squad depth, we'll have a look at the strengths, the weaknesses of the squad, and realistically for me in the comments, I just want you guys to get stuck into where can we strengthen, what can we do, tactics induction, we'll work on that later on, club vision, we'll just accept that, I was quite happy with everything in there, win a domestic cup, it's a bit iffy, but otherwise we're in quite decent place, pre-season preparation then, we've got some injury risks and condition fatigue wise isn't great, Hooper got out at the minute, so Berra is out for three to five months. That's probably his career over, if I'm honest. Let's be honest. So yeah, we probably won't see anything of Christoph Berra. Scottish transfer windows then, so there's been some moves already. Nothing that's really going to involve us. But then, again, let's have a look at finances. So transfer budget, we've got absolutely nothing. So there's going to have to be some wheeling and dealing there. Maybe trying to sell a couple of players and bring players in on instalments if we want to strengthen. However, I reckon the team's got to be strong enough to get us back up into the SPL. And then that's when we look at strengthening. And we don't really want to build a team in the championship. For me, I don't think that's the right thing to do because then we're going to carry them players into the SPL unless we can find a real talent. So like I say, got no transfer budget and we've basically got a grand to spend on wages. 
So squad wise, then we, you know we've got some decent players. Craig Gordon as goalkeeper, incredible. You know, full Scottish international. Yes, he's thirty seven year old, and he does like an injury. But at this level, even in the SPL, I still think it's a quality goalkeeper. With Ross Stewart as his deputy, we've got Berra, Papescu, Halkett, Sutar at the back. You know, plenty of centre backs there. With Harin and Smith as well, who can play there, as well as defensive midfielder and central midfielder as well. Brandon at right back. There's some real quality players. When we have a look at ability wise, nobody under a two and a half star. So, we are decent. What about value of players? John Sutar's the best player that we've got. 23-year-old. And he's going to get better. Four and a half star potential. One to watch here. Tactics-wise, what's the way we play then? So, let's create a new tactic. Now, it's given me three options. Control possession, route one, or fluid counter-attack for me. I don't think any of them are the way to go. You know, control possession, probably. Do we like the look of that? Let's choose a formation. You know, they want us to play that. 4-2-3-1 formation for me. It depends how we want to pressure them. I'd, I'd like to play a diamond. I do like a diamond. If I learned anything from FM20, the diamond did suit me quite well. Especially when we played in the SPL at Dundee. And we've done good things with them. I think we may go with something like that. So I'll play a 5-2-2-1. Like I say, get involved. Let me know what you think. It might be just a flat 4-4-2. We might want to play a 3 up the top. I do like to play with two attackers. However, if we're going to play that kind of formation, we've got lots of attacking options anyway. But if we just do a quick pick and have a look at our best team, we've got Gordon in goal, Halkett, Smith and Harin. He's a good player as well. I've heard about Peter Harin. So we've got Kingsley, Brandon, Halliday, Irving, with Naismith and Walker and then Boyce up front. What's Boyce got about him? Finishing 13, not the quickest mind. May have to look at that. What about in the development centre then? So we've got players Cammy Logan and Ewan Henderson. You know, Cammy Logan. I'm going to promote him straight away. Let's get him into the senior squad. He's got enough about him. We'll leave him in the reserves for now, Ewan Henderson. Just solely because he doesn't fit into the, the style that we're going to play, the formation-wise. But we have got some options in the reserves. Let's just have a look at the under-18s. What have we got coming through? Absolutely nothing. Harris Spratt, the only player on the books. What about reserves-wise? So we've got Aidan Denholm, you know, he can play up top, four and a half star potential, one and a half star at the minute. So some of these players who might have to look at pushing out alone. Development wise though, you know, and potential and talent, we've got some good players in there. So we have got options should we need them. But what about the team report then? So assistant report, weaknesses, transfer budget, like we say, we've got no transfer budget, goalkeeping, kicking his paw, natural fitness and wing back depth isn't great got loads of strength so crossing is a strength overall for the squad free kick taken overall strength we're physically strong with tackling good vision corners jumping reach just there's more greens than there is reds there that's always a bonus isn't it so i'm not too worried about that but squad depth wise then when we look at it we've got craig gordon in goal you know with ross stewart as a deputy he's not the greatest goalkeeper he's not the worst with Andy Halliday and Michael Smith out wide, that's a weak area there, wing back right. In the middle of the park, we've got Suta, Harin, Smith, Halkett and Christoph Berra. There's plenty of options there. You know, if we're going to play a three at the back, we are sorted. Might look at a libero. Now, playing a libero in the championship might be a bit of a push, but it might be the way to go. In the middle of the park, we've got Naismith, Harin, Michael Smith, Ollie Lee, Halliday, all very good players again. And up front, we've got another layer of that. So some of these players dropping forward, like Stephen Naismith, Ollie Lee, Jamie Walker coming in. And then up front, we've got Naismith again, Boyce, Roberts, Walker. You know, are any of these guys any good? Jordan Roberts, not too bad. But we may look at strengthening there as well. But again, your input is vital into this. So schedule-wise then, we start with the Scottish Cup Group B, where we've got Sterling, Cove Rangers, Forfar and Dundee United. So only one team goes up. That's a difficult group. Dundee United, I would say, were the favourites to go up there, so we'll have to be doing them over nice and early. We don't play them until towards the end. Anyway, it's the last game we actually play, so that could be a decider. We may need them to drop points there. But first game of the season, we've got Dundee, and then we've got a Broth and Alloa. It's my first three games in October. That's, you know, we're looking for nine points there. Nothing else matters. We have got a game coming up against the Hearts second 11. So we're going to get into that just to see the team, really. So as it stands then, as coming into the club, we're looking at the team dynamics and cohesion. And it's not looking good for me already. So team cohesion is very poor. 
very poor. And my managerial support is poor as well. Your reputation is quite low in relation to your players. It may be early days, but the players are going to take some convincing to get past your lack of experience. So as it stands then, I've got lots of players that oppose me already. 13 players already oppose me. So I've got to get them on side nice and early. I'm a little bit worried, I'm not going to lie. It's not ideal, is it? Let's be honest. When two of my team leaders are against us, all my highly influential players don't like us. I've got 11 players that have no real opinion of us and no player supporters. Oh dear. Staff-wise, what are we looking at then? So coaching team... Assistant manager Gordon Forrest, fairly decent. We've got Lee McCulloch as a coach, and that's about it. I've got space for another coach as well, so we might look at bringing somebody else in. As far as the league goes, we've got the best recruitment team in the league. We've got a lot to work on there, though, with fitness being the worst. Physios aren't great, neither. We'd, what have we got vacancy-wise here? We've got a vacant physio and a vacant sports scientist, so we'll look at working on that as well. So I've got the opportunity to hold a team meet and then and uh, this ain't going to go well, is it? So I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce myself to you as the new Hearts manager. Let's go with that. People are encouraged. I don't want to make any promises for now, but I do want to talk about our expectations for next season. I think we're good enough to go up as champions this year and that will be the target we'll be setting ourselves. Everybody's satisfied by that. Naismith, I think that's a perfectly acceptable target for us right now. So that's exactly the sort of reaction I was after. We can go up as champions if we're all on the same page. I'm also aiming for the Scottish Cup this season. I'll be expecting us to give a good account of ourselves in the Scottish Cup. Let's go for that. That's a sensible target. And again, that's exactly the sort of reaction I was after. Code of Conduct, they're all absolutely thrilled with that. And that's a great response. So in fairness, it hasn't gone too bad. On the whole, I believe the players were fine with the lack of promises. The players are also largely happy with the expectations you've laid out. Dressing room atmosphere has gone up, mind your support, nothing has happened there. But look at the morale, the boost in morale, they're all absolutely loving it. Miss the motivator here. Right, so we've got a game against our second 11, and not necessarily our best 11 against our second best 11. It's just obviously split, gives me an opportunity, gives us an opportunity to see what we're, we're up against. So let's see what kind of talent we've got on show today. So obviously it's a friendly, no fans there, nothing going on. We've already got an injury, that's not great. Michael Smith, what's going on here? Potential foot injury, not ideal. So tactically then, let's make a change. My centre-back has gone already. Sutar's injured as well. Oh man, I'm going to bring somebody in straight away that can't play in that position. Let's go. Ten minutes gone and nothing going on at all. You know, for me, do we start shouting? Do we get shouty? Let's demand more from the entire team. Ball headed away is Naismith. He's not going to get there. They've also got an injured player in Roberts. So, not ideal. We've got plenty of injuries already as Halkett picks it up to Halliday. Kingsley again. Ball over the top. Naismith there got to score. Stewart makes the save and White gets it clear. Was looking good so far for us. Two shots, two on target. Hart second 11, not really done anything. That injury though, that does worry us that my main centre-back has taken a knock already. It's not ideal. But we have not done a lot. We're playing balanced. If we go a bit more attacking, I think it's the way to go. At half-time, that is really poor though. Not great at all from the team. I'm going to thrash my arms a little bit. I'm far from pleased with what I saw. I know it's only a friendly, but it's your opportunity to impress me, and it's not happening at the minute. So change-wise then, let's get this Shiavone on, see what he's got to offer. We'll bring Sutar on as well for Halkett. That'll do. I've brought somebody on with a knock. That's dangerous, but we'll get to see what he's got to offer. If he takes a knock now, then I'm in trouble. Not a lot going on though, and that is disappointing. We'll play an attack and we'll go very attacking. Shouts wise, I'm going to berate a little bit because we have seen nothing. We've seen one highlight in this game and that's a concern going into the league. Obviously, we've got those cup games first of all, but this isn't great. So I'm going to make I'm going to make a tactical change, I think. I'm going to go for that. That's the way to go. We get Lawler on for Naismith and more on for Walker. Let's confirm the changes and let's see if we get anything else out of it as we are now very attacking. 
We're going to draw. One thing I will say then is we are defensively solid. It has gone at a nil-nil draw. We had seven shots, four on target. They had one shot. We had 53% possession. I think there's plenty to do with this team. Luckily, that was only a friendly. That's what I'm going to tell the guys. And as it stands, nil-nil. So Hearts fail to make the chances pay then. Oh, God. Michael Smith is out for four to five weeks. So my main centre-back is out. And Jordan Roberts is out for two to three days. That was me attacker. So there we go then, guys. There is plenty to do. Plenty going on. So get involved. Like I say, tactics, team selection, transfers. Start getting involved in the comment section. And that's where we'll leave it then. So I'm going to do this every couple of days. So we'll go, obviously this one's getting released on a Tuesday, so then we'll go Thursday, Saturday, until we get into the full swing of it. I have got a lot going on at work at the minute, which is kind of restricting me from doing this full time again, basically doing it five to seven days a week. So yes, it's going to be every video, but that gives me time to read your comments, to get involved with what's going on and make the change that you think we should be making. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra.